So I just got the new K-Way Lighting um, Hydration Pack and I thought I'd do a quick packing video because um, I was actually quite impressed by how much stuff I could fit in here. Um, so I got the K-Way the hydration bladder. It's filled up to just over two liters about and um, yeah, just fits in on this sleeve at the back of the bag. Fits in quite easily there, and then I see it's got two like like uh, Velcro straps here that you can thread through this uh, top of your hydration pack. Probably just to help secure it a little bit, a little bit better. Um, I presume. Which of this this bladder can take three liters, but tomorrow I'm just going to go on a quick uh, run and scramble up Table Mountain. So. I don't need that much water, so just thread the pipe through this side and what is nice is it's got um, space for, you can thread the pipe through on the right or on the, the left, so there's an option there, so it depends on which side you want your, your water your hydration. So then I am putting my gas, this is way too big, like I should probably get a smaller canister but so I've got gas in this one left and actually quite a bit of space at the bottom here which I'm quite surprised about. Got the little pocket outlet which I'm going to fit inside the kettle and there's my lighter and this is going to go in the bottom there as well. Because you know you have to make coffee once you're at the top. Um, so yeah I've got my freshly ground coffee. Just ground that now. It's going to be delicious. And then I've got my paper filters. I've just got two in the Ziploc bag. Just going to work with a Hario V60. Um, so that's just to keep the filters dry. You never want your filters to get wet and soggy. I've got my cup. I'm still actually deciding if I want to put this in the front. Probably just going to stuff it in here. And just get it down there. And then just got my, my jacket, which I'm going to throw in the top here. You know, probably start off with the jacket and then take it off, but it's nice to know that everything fits inside. And yeah, there we go, nice zipped up. There's still space for something in the front here, like if you want to put a helmet or something like that in there if you're going to go climbing. And then obviously you've got space here on the sides, which I haven't even utilized. Um, so yeah, just feel how this feels feels pretty good actually. And another feature that I really really liked is probably one of the deciding features between this and another pack was the fact that it's got a little safety whistle here. Yeah, it works pretty well. Um, so that's the pack. It fits really comfortably. Um, got my thing here. Yeah? I'll probably hook it on here, here to keep it there. So got that there. Um, and then what I also like, there's two um, pouches here in the front. So on this side, I've got some gels. And on this side, I haven't put in anything yet, but probably put like another small bar or something in there if I want to. Um, yeah, so really keen to see how it works. I'll take you guys along. So I've been going for about a half an hour now. And so far, the pack is really, really comfortable. Sitting very light on my back. Um, I can feel it resting like on the small, on the middle part of my back, nice and gently, but I'm really amazed. It, feel, it feels like I'm carrying a feather. Um, so, really excited to see how it does on steeper sections. So, I've just been going for about an hour, um, having lots of fun. The bag's really, really riding but well on my back. Um, but I'm now at what you could call the crux of the route little steep section. I'm interested to see how this fits on my back because my previous pack actually was pulling me a little bit backwards but I'm hoping that this this bag just sits nicely and doesn't have that sort of effect. Whew. So quickly stopping for a coffee here on St. Michael's Peak. Uh, I should probably focus on the pour over. <laughs> um, bag really did well on the steep scrambles. I didn't have any issues um, of it pulling me uh, backwards. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to go for a few um, runs around uh, before I head down. Um, I definitely think it's probably a bag for if you want to move fast, you want to be light. So for running, climbing, maybe hiking, um, if you're someone that 
is okay to pack quite light. Um, yeah, really enjoying it.